Hallelujah. God is good. All the time. Amen. Um, so, I'd just like to thank you for this opportunity that I can, uh, you know, just share with you. That's what I'm going to be doing today, just sharing. Um, because, you know, in fact, I was thinking about it. I was, you know, um, when I had the opportunity to come up on here and share or, you know, what they say, preach, I, I was trying to study trying to study the Bible and trying to see what I can, you know, what I can share with you or what I can preach about. And then, you know, I, I wrote some things here. Actually, or shall I get, can I get um, Brother Tong, please? He will be my, my MC, MC Tong. No, he'll be, he'll be translating for us. So thank you, brother. Uh, Yes, yes. 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 So to pass the song, it's nothing against you. Um, I've just used Brother Tong because he knows my lingo, the way I speak. And you work too hard anyway, so I want you to have a break. So I use Brother here. Okay, so thank you. Yeah. So like I was saying, I was preparing. Um, how, how this came about actually is um, I knew today was a new boo service. I was here for an extra week um, before I fly out tomorrow. And... Um, my wife was actually meant to give the message today, and then she asked me, "Did I would I like to do it?" And I said, "Yes, okay. I would uh, love to." Okay, you want to do that? Oh yeah, I forgot you were here. <laughs> totally forgot. When someone said, "Ah, my sister came to Nagakal Chanin," he said, "Eh, he he knew Bhutan when he said, "Ah, Bhutan when Nagakal, ah, the don't Thank you. I take you more. Uh, okay, good, good. So, yeah, so pretty much, so I was thinking, okay, I was, when I said yes, I already thought, you know, I know that I'll, I've got something I want to tell you guys, there's something I want to share with you. And then, yeah, go, okay. sorry. Alright, so, I keep forgetting he's here. Um, yeah, so, so anyway, I was preparing, and as, as the week went on, I was thinking, oh no, I better say something about the Bible. Okay. So yeah, I, I've got proof here, actually, I've, I've written, I've written what I was, what I was going to say today. And then I... I tried to think how I'm going to say it and everything like that. But then at the end, I thought, no, nah, I can't do this. I don't think I'm going to say it right. So I will just do naturally. I will just share with you. Okay. So yeah, um, I I'm not a pastor. I'm not studying to be a pastor. Um, I don't know much about you know what is in the Bible and how to explain it to you all, but I do have testimonies to tell you how there is a God that we all serve. Pastor Kasiloja, Bible He Pastor, but to in Chimney, uh, Tim Migosilo, John Long Chong, Migosiloja, Khan, uh, Dutin Kachim Kalawete, Snat, and Patiani, Akan Nakaze, Dariana Tuantimi to Ka, the Tekana to Khan Chim Kok and Zomlaete. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I thought I'll leave it for the pastor and Say, uh, Moses, brother Moses, to, to do all the preaching. Okay. But for me, I will just share okay. my experience. 
Tong Chimle, Zagan Pla Salmon to Kutsi Pater Pastor Sia Sang Lile, Pastor Sia Moses Trumbo to Kasko said the Hangate, Kay Tucho, Zagan Pla Tate Kanaman to Kan, Sang Kavan Nak Laete. Yeah, so I hope you all understand. So today I will just I will share with you and pretty much just give you my testimony. In Hindi Kachim Ding Mijatam Big Micho, Akamaka Sin Kong Ka, Tate Kanak and Sang Kavan Laete. Okay, so. Um, a lot of you probably heard about my, my story, and today's your lucky day, you're going to hear it again. Okay. <laughs> so I'll make it short, I'll try to make it as short as possible. Because my story actually goes more than 15, more than 18 years. 18 years ago, yeah. So when I was when I was younger, uh, well, I came here when I was five years old. Um, and my whole family, my brothers and sisters, we came here. And yeah, I had I had a good good upbringing, good parents. Good, good morals. Um, but as I grew up, um, I, you could call out of four children, I'm the third, but in those three, I was the black sheep of the okay. family. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much I was the one always getting in trouble, doing all the things that that is not good in the in the sight of God. Pretty much being rebellious. Okay. But then my attitude now I know we all we all as we grow up, I mean, because we have sin in this world, we're all sinners and we all make sin. But at a young age I already I my family brought us up in a Christian in a Christian way. But you know, I chose I chose to do the opposite. So pretty much since I was twelve I I started to I started to serve Satan instead of God. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so when I was 12, I started smoking and started to drink from 12, 13, 14 up. Okay. And then as I reached um, 15, I started going clubbing, nightclub, and all those things. And then and when I hit 16, um, a group of my friends thought we will start a gang. Gang. Oh, we will start sorry. a group again. So, I think it was 1996 or a long time ago. Um, yeah. Okay. So at that time I was only 15, 16. Um, I was actually the youngest, the youngest in in you know Thornley, Kenwick Thornley. I lived in Thornley. But I was actually the youngest, the youngest person to ever start a gang in, in Thornley. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so that pretty much involved, you know, 
as, as years went on, it involves, you know, your drugs, your alcohol, your everything that you know that's sinful, it was there. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I was, I, I was quite popular when I was younger with my, with my friends. Okay. Yeah. So, the thought of me even trying to serve the Lord was So, the thought of me even trying to serve the Lord was not even in my sight anymore because mm-hmm. I was enjoying too much okay. of this life here. Okay. Yeah, so when I was when I hit about 18-19, I I started to do drugs heavily. Heavily then. And then yeah, it just escalated, and then I ended up going to jail in, in when I was 19. So I, I went to jail, and you know, jail in Australia is not what they say, you know, it's, it's not like Asia. Here it's like living in a hotel. Most people you see on the street that have no money or no job, they're living on the street in Australia. A lot of those people would rather be in jail than live on the street because... So yeah, they, they get food, they get, they have everything, a roof under their head, warm clothes, three meals a day. So a lot of people would love to stay in jail here, then, then live on the streets. So yeah, when, when I came out, um, when I got out of when I got out of jail, I just I was there for a bit. Um, but when I did get out, um, you know, I, I thought that, um, you know, I'll start to change my life, and that's when I went to the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So when I went to the Philippines, I, I met because my mother's side are all Christians, born again Christians. So that, that was the time when I really got to know the Lord. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's, that's the time that I, I, I really knew the Lord then, and I knew what was best for me. So, after four years, after I've started to know the Lord, I, I walked that straight path. But, you know, Satan is very cunning. Satan is very tricky, and, you know, it's... Um, as the years went on, you know, my life was good, I was working, good job, but, you know, I fell again into the same trap. So, yeah, I, you know, the moment that I thought that I didn't need God in my life, I didn't need a savior in my life. I thought, ah, oh, I'm doing this on my own. I'm, I'm a good person now. God, it wasn't you. That's the moment that Satan just got me and took me back. Yeah, so pretty much from since two years ago, I, I went that you know, I went up, I went down, I went up, I went down. Um, 
So, yeah, I, you know, and I was thinking to myself, how come, you know, if there's God, like, how come you still, this still, these things still happen to me? And it was only till, only two years ago, actually, um, even though being married and having kids, um, I'd actually known why, why, I wasn't really getting that peace in my heart to avoid the temptation of this world. And, and pretty much it was, you know, I wasn't submitting myself fully. Yeah, because I've, I've relapsed four times during, during my dragging years. I relapsed four times. Okay. I fell back, yep. backslided four okay. times. And during those four times, every time it was too hard for me to stop I'd always promise I will pray to God and I will say, God, if you get me out of this, I promise I will serve you and I will do what you want. Okay. Yeah, so I, I promised that to God, but I didn't do it. So pretty much when, when I knew or when, when I got better, you know, I forgot about God again. And it's, it's, and I understood why. And it was because of that fact that I didn't keep my promise and I thought I can do it on my own, but I failed. And so yeah, it's it's only last two years, last time I came back. Um, I knew what I had to do. And yeah, that's why I'm that's why you see me today. It's I, I love I love to share. Even though it's hard that we, I can't understand you and you don't understand me well, but I want to share as much as I can and, and you know, give the good news of, of God's love for each and every one of us. sharing. <laughs> Yeah, because um, uh, through me sharing with you what 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 I've gone through, um, all of you might see me as oh, he looks clean or he looks good or like you know he he's doing good. But I, I battle as well with a lot of demons in my life that, you know, I have to keep close to God to make sure that I don't fall again and to make sure that Satan's out of my life. Brother Isaac, can you please come up here? I've called Brother Isaac here because he keeps looking at me and I don't like that. So, <laughs> no, thank you. So, I'm not, it's not what you think. I'm not going to sing. 
It's just I like a lot of background music. So we're just going to have a bit of background music. Yeah, that gives, that's better for me. At least I know not everyone is just looking and <laughs> I see all different faces. But, um, beautiful. And you're doing a great job as well. <laughs> um, so, it's <laughs> actually going to make me cry. <clears throat> I, I don't really know how, how to make an impact in your life or how to, you know, tell you what's, you know, what you need to do or what, what should be done or, you know, what, what, what you should or not should not be doing. That's, that's up to you. But I can tell you. God loves you so much. If you can see the life that I've that I've lived, the, the, the wrong choices that I made. If 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 a God like the one we serve, the one we worship the one we, we, we love, the one that we put our faith in, you know, can, can save, like they say, a wreck, a fool, a silly boy like me, then imagine what he can do in your life. Okay. <laughs> There, were, there was times, a lot of times, when I was going through what I was going through. I wanted to commit suicide, kill myself, you know. Because of the fact that I failed so many people, and especially myself, so many times. It's because I knew that I failed so many people, and, okay. and myself so many times. Okay. But you know, God had a better plan for me. And, and, and the thing that I face now, since I've been good, since I've been clean, is facing the people that I've hurt during the times I was bad. Now, a lot of people think it's easy, you know. Oh, Kenny's good again. But I know in their head, they're thinking, oh, you'll do it again. But I tell you one thing, you know, never again. Never again because I have Christ. I have Christ. So it's it's my it's it's this is the only good thing that I can do as as a believer, as your brother in Christ, is to share with you. 
zoom tu pun sih nak ah kalang tar komen juga cuma kiri um timi kanan sih nak cip komen juga sekarang ada. I share with you that no matter who you are and what you do in this life. No matter who you are and what you do in this life, you know if you have that faith, just a bit of faith and trust. Zaitun dan tua zaitun untuk menunas si kabel pilawat eh senawat eh en til met eh cim ah til pak cim kandung min hajo kak met eh zoom nang nang min eh kandan nakan kan kau kan ayat eh. Just that trust, trust in the Lord. Eh petian ah zoom nang nang eh petian nang zoom siang hajo nang nakan kan mon nak umkola. You know things will go. Things will go your way. You will. Till nai tim ni kana kal kolai. Petian kan zoom lo. Petian nai nai zoom nak kacil lo. Nai tim mi till sini kana kal kolai. So, the power of the Lord, the power of our God is is so strong, and I'm I just really really wanted to to let you know. I mean I know you're all Christians, and I see the way you worship together, but I know you've grown up the way that's the way you've been doing it. Atau mempertian, lihat yang mempertian nase. Hika muna, pertian nang biak neng, pertian nang arian nang tuan neng kan muna, kan zaman hari ka, nang nang chan nak zaman kamu eh de, hiti neng kan kal kok kasiom kau lor de. But to actually experience the work, the real work of Satan, and to 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 be able to defeat it and to testify that God is real and that God is good, is a different story altogether. Or whatever you like to say to say it, I forgot now. <laughs> no, re- pretty much, you know, like if you only experience, like I'm not saying experience what I went through. No way, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm trying to say is try it. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> just, you know, I'm just saying that if you really experience, you know, the work of Satan, and and how, how. Strong he can be, just to make you think otherwise. That the what you're doing is right, is actually not right. And to feel the actual change when you know Christ, to experience that, and to really know the difference between who is real and who is not. That's that's the real test, and that's the real, that's the real um. Blessing, I guess you can, you can really receive, you know, to to have to be gone through what you went through, but at the same time know that, know that there was God always watching over you there. Eh, saya tilpo nan tuam hana, saya tilpo waktu aku kampen lo, saya diri pun waktu pan kampen lo, saya tan tuan nak, saya tan tilpo di kau nak tang waktu kampen lo, tilpo kan nanti saya cium, pati tuan nak um, pati nak um tu mungkin nanti saya nangal saya akan cium, mana kan nanti nak akan, kalau saya tan tan tuan nak le, saya tan tan tuan nak cium kan, alat kau nak pati tuan nak kau um kau. Yeah, so I could tell you more stories and in depth what I was doing, how how messed up my mind was and how really evil I was. But I will save that for another time. Eh, atau ahan cium di tampi kan? Nego na ala ala na ye kasih ni ngah kalung cunga setan ni zin na ah zin dia til telau acia ruan ak telau til telau til lumpu telau kengai mika tampi cium ding la cium ah kan tu minam kau eh dia senate eh atau ahan cium cium dah malaya ah cium kau tangan zoom dia halai. So um, that pretty much just says it all. I mean, I see a lot of young faces here. And I see a lot of parents, and you've probably been through a lot as well. But you know, we gotta keep coming up here. Because when we have time, we can move on. Come on, dear, move on. Apart from your umbrella, we don't lie. No lapa song. It's not because we can. Ralang mangulo, but you need to be there. Ralang mangulo. And no matter how big and small your thanksgiving to God is, we still have to come up. Because that is what how we strengthen ourselves through the good works of each and every one of us, even little, even small. I mean, even small, even big. God wants. Everyone to know 
how much he loves he loves us yeah. so yeah um so since ever since that I've been I've been really being serious with my relationship with God um, like life is really taken off for me it's it's really good I mean, even even um, I'm doing the FIFO job now. So two weeks on, one week off. Even in in there, I as as much as I can, you know, I would I try to even just just spread a little bit of good news to even non-believers there. I come to a rent to me, he, Zarnika, Rien Patuni, Zakat Venedin, Mirian, Atomica Sibuakan, Patien He, she coaching Petana Ganai, Santaha, she coaching Ganai Mika Patien Petana and Gamanton. I mean, that's something I've never thought I would do, and I always told myself I could never do that, but only until you, you try or you put your trust in the Lord that He will use you. That's when, that's when just everything becomes easier in life. Really. Um, I think it's in the book of Matthew, or I hope it is. It says, draw near to God and God will draw near to you. Uh, yeah. That's why I'll never be a pastor. That's the reason. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Um, my question to you is, are you really, are you really, really, really having that relationship with God? Because all this here is okay, it's good. It's good for us. But when you're by yourself, do you speak to God? Do you ask Christ to direct you in your life? Do you really want to know God? Do you really want to let Him take control of your life? Because I can tell you, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, since I, I, I do those things, you know, I have peace in my heart and I know where my direction is and I know what it is God really wants me to do. Because I know that the moment I think that I can do it on my own, I know Satan will get me again. That's why I always say God is good. And not just sometimes. But all the time. Because no matter even we pray and we ask God for these things and we think that we're not going to get it or He hasn't given it to us. He's always listening and He knows in His timing, if it's in His will, you'll get it. And uh, just be careful, like it's in... Um, Oh, what is it? Well, you're doing a great job, Brother Moses. I should have got you a chair. <laughs> I won't be long now. I will use this. Okay. So it is in. Is it wrong? 
It's in Matthew, actually, uh, 7, 13 to 14, about, you know, you all know it, the narrow gate. So the gate to hell is very big. And even if you close your eyes, even if you don't have the spirit, even if you got the spirit, even if you got Christ in your life, the gate is too big, you can still go through it. But the narrow gate, which is very, very small, but you can go through it, is, is, is that gate leads to, to everlasting life. Is not many people can enter through that gate. That's why I encourage you that we need we need to strengthen really really strengthen our relationship with God and and just know that we will be saved. Because even though if we're if we're blinded but we have the spirit in us, we have Christ in our life to lead us, we can still make it through. Like so yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you today. Um, every time I come up for testimony, I, I have so many things I want to tell you, but I don't really think you would, you would really understand. But the one thing I do know is that you all understand that God is good. And God, Jesus loves us so much. He loves us that much that uh, we can never fathom, we can never really understand. So yeah, um, I hope that my, my sharing with you and you know, my, my testimony to you will, will be hopefully an inspiration in some way in what you go through in life. Because you know, like um, I'm so so grateful for all your prayers and, and for all you know all that you guys put up with. You know, it's um I'm so grateful. Like, yeah, I am really, really grateful and and you know I, I just hope and pray that you know God will continue to use this church. For his glory, not our own. So in saying that, I'm not I'm not trying to glorify myself in any way. But I'm purely trying to glorify the greatness and the goodness of God, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so yeah, I hope I hope everyone um you know took a little something from that. And I just wanted to thank Brother Tong here for his translation. 
Jangan mencium titi lah. Say thank you to yourself. <laughs> thank you, Tong. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, yeah, um, and I would just like to pray for the church before I before I finish. Thank you. All right, so I would just like to just to just to pray for this church, for our church. So if we can all close our eyes. Hallelujah, 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 Lord. King of all kings, Lord of all lords, I'm so grateful, Lord, for this opportunity that you've given me, Lord, to come up here, Lord, to testify that you are king, that you are Lord, that you are saviour. Lord, I'm so grateful, Lord, for this church, Lord, for our members, Lord, for each and every one of us here. I'm so grateful that, Lord, that we can come together in your name, Lord, and know that we can trust in you, Lord. It is because through you, Lord, we can find inner peace. It is because of you, Lord, we can, we can have strength. We can be guided. We can know what's wrong. We can know what is right. It is only through you, Lord, that we can really feel the true happiness of your pure love, of how much you really love us, Lord. And Lord, I just continue to pray, Lord, for each and every one of us here at WACEC, Lord. I just continue to pray, Lord, that you continue to heal us, guide us, protect us, spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally, Lord. Continue to, to lead us in the right direction, Lord, to know you more and more each and every day, Lord, but most especially, Lord, to love you more and more each and every day, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Through you, Lord, there is only peace, Lord. Loving God is Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord. Lord, may you continue to be with each and every one of us, Lord, in whatever we do, Lord. Let it be that your will be done, not our own, Lord. Continue to strengthen us as we continue to serve you, Lord. As we continue to know you more, Lord. May you bless us abundantly, Lord. Lord, we know that you are Lord, that you are God, that you are creator of heaven and earth, the Alpha and the Omega, and nothing's ever impossible in your holy, graceful name. And we just thank you, Lord, each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you.